Get him to shake. Here, pull your hand back. Start over. Now say shake. Shake. Okay, now give me a treat. The boys have been out there, I don't know, 20, 20 ish minutes. Hard at work. <laughs> That's not it. It. Hey, Miss Burdell. I got it, Mr. Brown. I see you. Come here. Come on. Hop up. It's gonna be a little cold, but you can warm it up fast. Okay, if you take off your coat, bring it in. What are you doing? I'm getting wet. Okay. This is a pain in the butt. I do take one day off a week not taking them. But I like to take them. I like them to be with me. It's a pain to get it going. But it's worth it. And if I leave them here, these Uno cards and these cloth diapers, they would be everywhere. Are you not finding them? I am finding them. I don't think you have gloves in here. Here's your little gloves. Do those. Now he's saying he's got a splinter. What does Og Mandolino say? I will greet this day with love in my heart. I will welcome obstacles for they are my challenge. Let's get your splinter out. I, I did. I just went and found these. Can we go now, guys? My hands are sweating. Are you kidding me? All that trouble to find your gloves? I told him to. It's not that cold today. Come on, leave the crossbow. Jonah made a homemade crossbow. It actually works. It's really cool. But hey, not the time. Let's go. Whoa, holy smokes, that works. <laughs> he, shot, he shot all the way over there to the into that chicken run. Get in, just demo that a little bit. Can you give us a tour of this thing? Sure. I got a bow and arrow, and um. Okay, so that's fish. a regular. Uh, bow. Yeah, and then regular arrow. Look, and it's got this string. You, you strapped it on with uh -huh. metal straps. And then you did a, a, a that's not, to guide the arrow. An EMT strap to right. guide the arrow. What? Now I'm interested to see. Okay, so you put two boards together. Why didn't you do one whole board here? Because I had to screw this in. So oh. It's screwed in right oh, there. Oh, that's right. So what is that though? What is it normally? This goes up and down. I know, but what is that? It was the Craig you never used. Oh, you made it out of my crack. <laughs> oh, 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 we might want to well, use that one day. Your crack is all broken. <laughs> Wonder why. Trying to put that aside. <laughs> That's already caught. How far do you think it'll shoot? Uh, well, so he's got this strap behind the the crag. Yeah. Oh, it shot pretty far with Gideon. I think you might be able to get across. You'll get across the street. So you launch that to the string. Uh huh. Okay, and then you pull down on the Craig trigger. Yep, aim higher. All right, I aim higher and I'll go further. Oh, oh dud. I okay, we're gonna try again. Okay. You hit the barn yeah. roof. Oh my word. Good job on that, my man. Uh huh. How are those chickens doing? Lily! Your chickens are on it. Yeah. Hey, and do you have any eggs eaten? So we put that egg eater we'll in there. Are there any gone? Eat. Well, no, I don't think that is an egg eater. Okay, she's not eating eggs, so that wasn't the egg eater. We normally get two eggs. Okay, well that was a good test, Lily, because what if we would have killed that chicken? Yeah. That chicken was just pecking at the eggs the other day, and it made you think she's an egg eater, but no, maybe she was just curious. And we put her in here, and those eggs are not gone, so we're going to assume maybe she's not the egg eater. You tired? <laughs> good morning, Arun. Good morning. How was, how was your sleep? Did you sleep good? Oh, thank you for asking. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I got ozone treatment for the third time, and that's the first time I was able to sleep <laughs> past 2:45 in the morning. <clears throat> I think it was because I ate all day. Yes. It worked. It, doesn't work it worked. Day. I feel like I'm herxing a little bit, herxing mine, where it's just well, like. It's because you didn't hurt in the first second. No, I didn't. But that means I'm like feeling extra symptoms because it's flushing things that out, I guess. Like it's, because Amy got yeah. in the first shot, actually. Oh, she got hurt to Myers first oh, time? First time, yeah. Hmm. Because she already has second time, she feels so much better. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna stick with it. You're supposed to do five treatments <laughs> to start off with. So I got Minimum two more. five. Yeah. Jonah! Okay, they might be moving wood. I'm gonna show you in a minute why they're so excited about moving wood. Good. Gideon, where are you going? Inside. No, don't go inside. You can bring the crossbow. No arrow in it. So you can pretend, okay? That'll keep you out here. Mm. All right. All right, Zelda. <laughs> Doesn't it look like all you 90s kids? Doesn't it look like he's Zelda? <laughs> Ultra blonde hair. Hair shooting out in front of his ears. <laughs> Look at how well they've done. Actually, we probably kept them in here a little too long. They started digging instead of scratching on the surface, but we'll take it. Let's get our little hoe, level it out, and then cover it with a tarp. Boom. All right, we got this thing covered. I got the sandbags on it. I'm just loving this system. The chicken tractor is fitting in perfect. I love the work they did. I didn't do that work. Look at the work they got ahead of, us, ahead of them. They love it. I've lived with them for 24 hours. That's all they want to do. Look at this cover crop. If I were to do that by hand, here, let's let's get that hoe. What would this be this like? Can't dodge this. I mean, it, it wouldn't be impossible. I mean, I'm getting it. But why not? Feed, what, where'd all this go? <laughs> they ate it. They ate it. Free food for the chickens. The chickens then fertilize until the garden feeds the chickens. And the chickens feed the garden. And us. And us. Our shims from the trellis to the end work nicely. They transferred over nice. We must have measured good because it transferred from one to the next. This makes this very teachable, very buildable. I'm going to work on this and one day get you got, well, I have the plans for the chicken tractor. Well, maybe get you the plans for the, uh, the raised bed. You know, I want to work this out a little bit more, make sure I might build this a little bit longer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this is eight foot. You kind of want things to be in eight foot. It's a good garden bed size, but it's also like how lumber comes and minimizes cuts. So I want these builds to be super easy to build. Papa, we've moved so much wood. Okay. Uh, I want you to push it with the tractor now. Okay. Hey, you want to see why Jonah and Josiah are so motivated to move that wood? Because I said when you move that wood, you can have this. Does anybody know what that is? Yes. What? It's mountain boy. Mountain boy. Oh! Fun fact, I used to be a professional mountain boarder. In this sport, if you're not going full throttle, go home. You can have this, but you gotta move that wood. See, I've never seen him so motivated. Get the tractor so you can push all of it closer to okay, the barn. Okay, okay, I'll try to help you a little bit. We've been slowly knocking out this huge pile of wood. Actually, you guys don't have as much as I thought right left. Here. You've been working hard. You guys have stacked it outside the stall. You got a support wall. Well, you guys it. got mad country skills. Yeah. Papa, <laughs> at some point, I want to get this walled in. I love it. You know, most people don't know how to do this. They don't know how to stack up a wood pile with wood. I've always wanted to do that. I've you have seen to do that at the end? You've always wanted to do it? Always. So I would do it on our porch stacks. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't just sit well, you guys did a good job, and then it holds it back. It's yeah. its ret own retaining wall. Let me see if I can help them by pushing it a little closer with the tractor. You know, it's funny. I've been asking them, on to them, about picking up this wood for a long time. You know, we tried using this exercise. I tried using it as a negative consequence. Say you were mean to a sibling or something, go get a load of wood, put it in there. But the moment I said, hey, I got you a mount board. I want you to get the wood pile finished before you can ride it. They were like, can we start now? It was night. That's when, Jonah, you thought of the tractor. Why didn't we think of the tractor before now? We pushed all the wood over here and making it so much easier. I'm thinking that's a good life parenting lesson for me. Work, work shouldn't be like a negative consequence. Work should be 
a means Papa. to an end. It should Papa, be enjoyable. Me. Oh, let's see it. <laughs> I'm not saying work in the moment should always be pleasant, but why do we work in real life? Well, we work in real life for what? The real world. So we're just training them for the real world. We've got a little mound right here, a mound of dirt to keep our water on the concrete and over there. The concrete is gradually leaning this way. So that should be good. We have a little runoff here that keeps the water going down to the creek and not into the deep bedding. Their water stay clean. How are their minerals doing, Lily? Wow, they've crushed these minerals around. They've, they've eaten a lot of mineral. A very generous deposit this morning. I just love it. We're gonna pick it all up. We're gonna pile it in an area, cover it with wood chips. Uh-oh. There she goes. After Teddy. <laughs> she won that hay bale. Keep doing that. You got her. Let's let's feed her that hay bale too. That'll occupy him. Lots of deposits. Looks like we piled there yesterday, so we're gonna keep on with that pattern. And just get higher and higher. We'll We'll make our poop pile right here today, and then just keep going down the line. Look at all this poop, we gotta get it up. We got a problem in here. This is a good way to come through. Show him, Josiah. Perfect size for him. His hay is leaning over, though. All right. Okay, that's clean now. It can fall. This definitely works better with the camera. I'm gonna kind of stand over here under this. Oh, he's what? He's oh. Come on, come on, fellas. Wow. Okay. I'll push the rest. <laughs> I reckon that's where we'll get our hay off this line next. We've gotten our outer layer off from the weather. Watch out! Let's store this at the woodchip, guys. You guys can help move the wood to hay. You can give one to the sheep. Still clogging up a little bit. Something blocking it. Here we go. But now I gotta wash my hand. We are on our way to the Stop it. oral surgeon. Hopefully you didn't see that, it's kind of gross. Got some teeth missing in the back. Uh, it's been over a year, Rebecca, since we started this process first, of implants. First surgery was January 10th of 2020. So here we are, this is an appointment to see if my gums have been built up enough. We've Not had to do some surgery bone. to build the bone up. We're gonna see if that's built up enough. Four weeks ago, I had not. He wanted to give me four more weeks. Yeah. So we're gonna see today. I don't know because Snowball is still coming and could come at any point now. Like we're getting to those yeah, yeah. days. Yeah, this is just gonna be like, okay, it's ready. Let's schedule this. Okay. But are we gonna wait till like mid-March? Till we know okay. for sure that Snowball will be here or? No, we'll talk about that with them. Yeah, I guess they'll let us Let's, know. Uh, he said it's gonna be a much easier surgery. Yeah. He said it's going to be very easy. The, pr the problem is I, I need a little bit of recovery and you'll have to... I mean, you took care of me, these last ones, and I was kind of out of commission. At least you're supposed to be for a day or two. And they got to do this soon. Or we got to wait till after Snowball gets here. <sighs> and it's going to have to be a couple weeks What if I go into labor when, when you're in surgery? What well, why don't you just tell Snowball to set a day, <laughs> you two talk, set a day, time, preferably what, two o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah. Can, three, four hour labor, we have supper, we'll get in the bed, Go to have bed. a good night's sleep. Yeah. Just oh, some good snow and, snowball. And can we also put in on that request that I get a really good night's sleep beforehand and that all my to-do list gets done before he comes? Take it up with him. <laughs> We're there. We're waiting on the doctor. We'll see what he says. I'll tell you guys as soon as we know something. We'll probably be back in the car. 
Well, that was the best news I heard all day. Yep. We're ready. We're but the worst news is <laughs> they can't do it till March 5th, which is way too close. It's like right now. So we are yeah. gonna, we've had to put it off. We have to put it off to early April. Yeah, which is kind of a bummer because that puts it off another. Because I gotta get the implants, but then they, they gotta to set they and to they gotta heal. test them. And then, and then the, the then dentist finally gets to put the them crown. on. And the reason why I'm so excited about this, guys, is because one, well, it's, I can't chew on that side. And have you ever been on an animal diet where you eat mostly meat and not had one of your sides to chew on? That's annoying. Well, but we also, also think it's yeah. throwing me off. And it could be the part of the source of my uh, back, pain. back pain. Jonah has texted me from his iPod. He's gotten that wood. <laughs> there it is, stacked. And he's wanting to get on the mountain board. Please, 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 please. <laughs> That's amazing that kid got that done. He, was he recruited a rune. He got me to drive the tractor. He's been bugging Josiah. I think Josiah wanted to wait till tomorrow. Yeah, Josiah was like, hey. Uh, but I want him to wait till I get home. It's their first time. I want yes. him to be safe. And we don't need any broken bones. And that would just be a better happy ending. Me getting back with them. Them mountain board. Guys, I'll even get on it. How about that? I was like, please don't hurt yourself. Becky, don't please. you remember I was pro? I know, but still, like we're having a baby really soon. <laughs> and you have, you, well, I guess that was in your non-pro days when you had a broken we won't speak finger. To that. We won't speak to that. And then you rode a mountain board yeah, and you ripped your finger apart on the other one. We won't hand. talk about that. So we show up at the ER, <laughs> cast, he had a cast from his, like, he had these two fingers casted all the way to his elbow, and then this one was, like, bleeding everywhere. The underlying quality that's in everyone that mountain boards is, everybody's a little bit crazy. What? <laughs> <laughs> really? Nice. He's a natural. <laughs> when you don't have a mountain board, use a cardboard. You guys don't need toys. You just need cardboards. Woo! Got a little secret for you. When I was a pro mountain boarder, I wanted to name my boys Dustin and Durton. <laughs> We call them Dusty and Dirty Roads. I'm going higher. You guys would have been a roughneck bunch. We already are. <laughs> I'm about to do this. It works better with pig socks over the pants. That's been a while. Got a little wobbly. The, the trucks need to be tightened up for that kind of speed, so I'm actually glad I hung on to that. I was afraid I was about to bust it. Not quite what I used to be on a mountain board. <laughs>